hey guys welcome to my bucks writers weekly so this is going to be a quick video where i'll show you that uh, what i was doing in my week so first of all i'm in love guys i'm in love with um this yt local thing it's fast it's beautiful look at this it's like it is naked okay this is how a naked non-css website looked like and it's so fast like look at the speed i mean it's not even it's faster than youtube i can't believe like how can some youtube front end can be faster than youtube but this is guys trust me and i hosted it on the server you can run it on localhost also what i did is i got this extension redirector and uh, so previously i was using lots of uh, redirecting uh, for example ted redirect knitter redirect or there are some live redirect like for privacy friendly redirect privacy redirect something like this okay so let me show you so these redirect extensions what it do is it it redirects or uh, lots of other you know many plenty of things okay but what i did is i use this redirector so it allows you to create your own custom redirects so this is what i'm doing right now and as you can see so it it worked pretty fine so every time i type youtube.com it just opened my youtube instance and i can just search anything all right and i can just play it like yeah so i was using it like i, I used the entire day and even my one of my friend used it and uh, we both loved it and it is working perfectly and i'm watching videos like i used to watch on youtube uh or piped actually i was using piped for very long i tried hosting piped but um, so piped is a tool let me show you so but the thing is piped is not as fast as this thing like i mean it is fast okay why do people keep recommending me in vds project like this project in vds or something this i don't know if it's my computer but for me it's always slow it never works okay i don't i can't even imagine using it like as a front end alternative like it's not it's not good guys okay uh for me no so if i search here so one thing i liked in pipe did it uh, gives auto completion but other than that whatever it's doing uh this thing here you know it's like a chad youtube it is it is so better than uh you know whatever this is like piped i, I used to love pipe to be honest but now no way like no way i'm going back to this thing like i mean look at this look at this i'll look at this and this is you know what i tried hosting piped and it was so pain to host it and it required docker it wasn't like my my instance is not that much powerful like let me just show you so yeah my instance is not that much powerful uh but this thing it it, it was so easy to host let me just show you like how i hosted wait a second uh, uh let me show you okay so in etc system the system uh, I made this extension Y, uh, not extension, like a, uh, what it's called, like system D service uh, for my YT local. So that's it. Like I just made this service and I have one virtual environment. You can also do it. All right. In my previous video, I showed you how to, you know, install it. And in this video, you can see this is the, this is the entire thing, how to make a service of it. And once you make us a service, you can just type system CTO, like, daemon reload you can just look arch wiki like how to create system d services and once it gets start you can just go to uh nginx directory site available and then here uh this is mine so what you can do is here uh yeah you just have to add this proxy pass in this location okay in this location so yeah this uh this proxy pass works and and yeah, you also have to figure out like how to put Nginx password uh, or keep the link secret if you're not like uh, anybody can subscribe otherwise on your instance. So yeah, that's one thing. Uh, so I love this thing. I can't tell you how much I love this thing. So what else I was doing this week? Uh, by the way, um, I managed to do something which I always wanted to do. So that's the second thing. Let me tell you. So I started using SyncThing and I want to make a detailed video of SyncThing 
but same thing is amazing previously i was not using it i was like oh it's a browser thing it's not worth it why not use our sync or something but sync thing is so beautiful like oh man it is uh, let me just show you how and like okay uh it's a uh, mundus okay mundus so what I did is, um, let me just quickly open Vim and tell you. So I have a PC name, uh, Mindus. I have a laptop name, Ethereus. I have a server name, Oblivion, Oblivion. And I have a phone and I, uh, I was thinking what should I name it because, you know, three planes are already gone. None. Okay. Now, if you don't know, uh, there is just the Elder Scrolls planes so actually there is this game so you can see it uh, it came from here so there were three planes at tedious whatever not not important so what i did is there are my passwords it's all G gpg encrypted so i'm backing up on the server all right and uh, i am syncing it with my laptop all right so i'm syncing it with my laptop and uh, i'm thinking few other things like my wallpapers and uh, but this is what i want to show you so i'm thinking my website so previously what i was doing is uh, in my website uh, this this is my website by the way site directory so it was a git repo okay and it's there if you go to git.boxwriter.com so if you see like a uh, website okay not this website i think site or website yeah this is this is this is my website so previously it was a git repo but now it's not a git repo i i have to delete it so what i did is um the git repo was getting very bigger because there were a lot of images in it so i removed the dot git directory and now i'm just syncing my website to my laptop and to the cloud which is this okay i don't know why it gives this error but nothing nothing happened okay so now it's syncing to the cloud and this is really good because now what i am doing is in my server uh like if i go to uh su search all right so i have this site and it's getting synced from my computer so if i make any change in my laptop that change will get reflected to my computer and also here now one nightmare i had is if i accidentally delete some file in my computer like if i deleted uh, this temp folder what will happen if i delete it or made some horrible change what will happen like okay so uh okay let me show you prawn tab e so what i'm doing is monthly I'm making a backup okay so it's called dot site backup so I'm just copying my directory site to this so in my laptop if I accidentally make some mistake if I deleted some folder important folder then I will have a backup already so this is good thing okay and the other thing I did is early I'm just um, uh, I figured out this thing it was hard to figure out in Zola so I, I don't know just me uh, I was expecting this after build, whatever. So hourly, I'm just building my site, okay? And in my Nginx, if I go to etc in uh, var www, so this site is actually uh, a link to my public directory, okay? So if I go to my site, public directory. So do you know what, what I just showed you? Like what just happened? Basically, I managed to do it uh, like, so if I am running my Emacs or anything, it doesn't matter. My Emacs load time is horrible. I have to do something about it. So if I go to my site and if I go to my content about, all right, so adding this three dots. Okay, if I add three dots and go to bugswriter.com, all right so right now nothing will happen so there is no three dots but i just saved it in my computer and now if i just go to content and if i do about.md so you can see the three dots is in my server all right it's in my server so because i have a cron job running hourly so 
in within like one hour i'm 100 percent sure within one hour i tested it it's going to update three dots all right so this is something i always wanted to do because the thing about making your own site and writing blogs is like people get lazy about it but if you reduce your efforts okay if you reduce your efforts then you know you can you won't get lazy okay like that's that's how i think but in the end of the day like i will make videos about it and uh, talk about it more but um, the thing about site is like you don't like it's a long term thing so maybe right now you're not that much invested but in future you keep you know doing it so it's about consistency so, all right so whatever so yeah so that's few things which i did i moved from freebsd to debian server that's one thing i i resetted everything like i i had to install all my programs on the servers again even my mail server and since i'm on debian now like i ditched my you know like i i started using email base okay so email this so it's a program written by Luke Smith. so previously i i installed postfix by my own but i think email viz is now uh, really fine because i already know how what this thing is doing okay so that's it that's what that was bucks writer weekly and i will keep it there so when the video get uploaded after an hour you can just look at it all right so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.